In this example, we'll evaluate the integral of 2x minus 3 over x squared plus minus 6x plus 13. Okay, so the denominator is not factorable. We'll complete the square. So when we take half of negative 6 and square it, negative 3 squared is 9. So we add 9 to both sides, or add 9 and subtract 9. So when you factor x squared minus x x plus 9, that's the quantity x minus 3 squared. And then negative 9 plus 13 is 4. Okay, now we have uh, u substitution. Well, that u equal x minus 3. And so if we solve for x, that would be u plus 3. x equals u plus 3, and du is equal to dx. Okay, so replacing this x right here with u plus 3. And then subtract 3. u is x minus 3. So that's u squared and then plus 4. So now we have 2u over u squared plus 4. du. And then we have plus 3, or plus the integral of 3 over u squared plus 4, du. Okay, so what we did was uh, distribute the 2, and we get 2u plus 6, and then 6 minus 3 is 3. Then you can split the integral. So now we can uh, use substitution again. this time with v. So we're going to let v, v equals u squared plus 4. And then dv is 2u du. So over here we'll get 1 over v, d, because v is u squared plus 4, and dv is 2u du, that takes care of 2u du.
and then we have 3 over 2 inverse tangent of u over 2 plus c. So there we use the, the integral that gives us inverse tangent. Okay, so that's uh, this one here. X squared and A squared, so X squared is U squared and then A squared is four. So that means that A is two. So we have three over two and then and then u over 2. And now the integral of 1 over v is natural log absolute value v. And now we can substitute what we had for v. We had u squared plus 4. And then substitute back in x minus 3 for u. Okay, so that was the integral for 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 6 plus, or x squared minus 6x plus 13. Completing the square, use substitution, v substitution, and the integral that gives us inverse tangent and then you substitute back in V and then substitute back in U.